the markers that we use to identify individuals who have an immunologic risk factor contributing to the recurrent miscarriage involve bug tests uh, to look for both autoimmune and alloimmune risk factors. The autoimmune risk factors include the following autoantibodies, antiphospholipid, antinuclear, and antithyroid antibodies, and the so-called lupus-like anticoagulant. On the alloimmune side, we look at the white blood cell subpopulations, and specifically what we're interested in is the subpopulation of white cells called natural killer cells, for it is the natural killer cells that do the first line of rejection. And we look at these natural killer cells in two ways. When we look at the circulating levels of natural killer cells to make sure those are not elevated. And secondly, we look at the killing activity within each cell to make sure that's not elevated. And last, but certainly not least, we look in the patient's blood serum to see if they have any circulating embryo toxins or anything that kills early embryos.